Hi and welcome everybody. I'm Sandy of Wally and Sand and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in uh, Canada, Ontario in this case. And let's just make sure everything's working. Can I just be the last one hopefully today to say may the 4th be with you? <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Very nerdy. Alrighty waiting to see if the video's working. So here it is. We're going to open this today and take a look. How exciting is this? It's always exciting when we have a new catalog. Always, always, always. Man, I can't tell if you've joined me yet because my video thingy doesn't say it's working yet. I'm sure it is. Facebook has been giving me um, issues. <laughs> That's the word. Nope, still not. Weird. Okay, well, we can wing it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It does Hang on, they may have changed things. There we go. Aha! Now, how do I actually get to see your comments? That's another one. Hmm. Oh, not that way. Not that way. Not that way. Nope. Oh, my goodness, this is crazy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> okay, I can see your comment. It looks like I'm going to be able to see like one comment at a time at the most. So it is what it is. So if you're new here, um, just say hi. Um, say where you're from, Canada, US. Be more specific if you wish. That's totally up to you. Um, again, hoping that everything's working. It looks like it is, but on the screen, my hands aren't moving. So that's how I can tell. Okay, so before we dive into this, there's a whole bunch of news. Now, if, if you're to tell you, if you're already getting my newsletter, then you know. But for those who aren't, and there will be some that don't have my newsletter, on my when my when you go to my blog and the link is up above, um, a little pop up will come up and it'll say um, sign up for my newsletter, and that's how some people already know about the exciting news. For example, I have a BOGO sale that's starting on May the 7th at 10 a.m. And it goes to May the 9th at 7 p.m. Now, shop early for the best selection. I have got literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items. <laughs> really, I have over 60 stamp sets, stamps and stamp sets and dies which is like a lot and because i'm moving i really don't want to have to pack everything oh and that's the other thing i started packing <laughs> i don't like it i don't like it at all packing up a whole house not happy um so the way bogo works i'll just go over real quick because all the details are on my blog um you purchase from my bogo sale the items have been re reduced um, not a lot. Now, if they were in last year's BOGO or the year before, um, the price has been more reduced. Yay! Reduced more? I think I might have said that backwards. Then you get to choose items out of the equivalent number. So let's let's just make up a number. So you spend $50 at my BOGO sale. You get to spend $50 in the new catalog. Do keep in mind that, that tax and shipping are extra. Okay, always. There's always that. Um, oh, hi, Shirley from Saskatchewan. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what else? Oh, um, we always have, let me just go, I'm just going to do this page now and then and we have a card to make too, by the way. So I'm going to try and there we go. Okay. So I know this is going to be really tiny, but if you already have your catalog, um, or the link, which I think I posted, it's been a weird day. Um, it's on page 170. So when you when your order reaches 10%, you get Stampin' Rewards, and you can choose items here on page 70 and 71. Just saying. Um, you can't combine, though, these host rewards and my BOGO. So you kind of have to choose what you want the most. Um, with, with the brand new promo, the way it works is when your order hits $300 before tax and shipping, um, you do, you already get 10% rewards, which is $30. And from, oh, I don't, didn't write the days down. Um, I believe it's May the 4th to June 14th. It's on my blog too. Um, 
you will get an extra $30. So you will have until $60 in freebies to spend. Awesome. Really awesome. Lastly, before we do the walkthrough, um, there's a joining special. So when you join my crafting community, um, it costs $135 to get what we call the starter kit. And you get to choose $206 worth of products. Wow. So normally it's $135, you get $165. So now you're getting in product. Now you're getting an extra $41 in product, which over and above. So that's really cool. Those two, my BOGO and this obviously don't go together. They're two different things. And as long as you live in Canada, anywhere in Canada, you can join. And I would love to have you be a part of my little crafty community. We're, we're a, a fun group. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm going to post my BOGO. So if you're not already following my page, my this that you're watching the video on right now, um, you're going to want to because I will post there the link to the Google document where you look at all my BOGO items. It will be in my newsletter and also be on my blog. So I'm going to try and do all those at the same time. They're pretty close too. Whew, that's a lot of information. Please let me know if you have any questions because I know I talk like a um, auctioneer sometimes. But there's a lot to say and, you know, and I don't want to keep it all night. Okay, so here's the catalog. It goes from May of this year till April of next year. Okay, and now I put all these tabs in for a reason. So on page three, you will find a list of all the suites. In case you wanted... Um, Actually, not just the sweets. It's a table of contents. I'm a doorknob, sorry. So you get the sweets. Um, they talk about those. They talk about where are the accessories. So like where are all the tools and such. Um, hosting and joining. And then the indexes of the stamps and the dies and the accessories. So keep that in mind. That's page three. Here is, as it says, the full color spectrum. And we'll get to the page with the actual in colors, which I have posted, but we'll do it again. Um, we still have the red rubber and the clear uh, photopolymer. I still have paper pumpkin, of course. And you will not find any kits here in the catalog. They are coming in June. So I will be posting um, all of those so you can look at them. And some are all-inclusive, meaning they've got the stamp set and all the goodies you need and the little ink spot. Um, to make cards and then some are no stamping required at all. So if you know brand new stampers It's just putting them together, which is fun in itself Okay, so let's get to my first tab. Okay I'm just going to show you a couple of sweets or one. I can't remember how many tabs I put in a lot clearly um, And hopefully this is on the screen Yes, I think it is. I'm trying to see my above all my lights and such. Okay, so for example, this is the pansy petal suite. For those who love pansies, this is beautiful. So Stampin' Up, like in previous years, has made it really easy. If you want everything, including the paper, so that's the stamps and the dies and the paper, um, and any trinkets that might go with it, one order code. It's so much easier than than having to type in, or for you, having to type in this and this and this and this, one code. If you like to piece part, that's fine too. Here's the stamp set. I love the font. I love two fonts. I'm going to say that I think every single time. And and then it talks about, you can buy the stamp set and you can buy the dies. Don't buy them separately though, because when you buy them as a bundle, you save 10%. Always look for this at the bottom of the page. Now I will lift this up just a little bit in case you're like me. Like when I first went through the catalog. This would be like, I don't know, my 50th time. I have no idea. I look for this and I hope that shows. This little red N is beside everything that's brand new. So I'm like, where's the new stuff? Where's the new stuff? Where's the new stuff? Because I probably have most of the other stuff, you know? Alrighty. So that's really cool. Now there's samples here and there's samples also on the page where they talk about the, the die set. Okay, so it's there. I need really good light to read the numbers. 
So hopefully you're fine. This is one of my favorite sets and I don't have it yet. However, I love large font like this and I love heat embossing. I don't know if you're going to love this too, but this is brand new and this is on my list. I did not have time today, believe it or not, on the first day of the catalog, I did not have time to place an order. What a nut bar. I decided to have, my body decided to have like a three hour nap this afternoon. Good luck sleeping tonight. Okay, is my video working? Because once again, my hands aren't moving on my screen over there. I can see them here. <laughs> oh, here's another one. You're a peach. Another full suite. And it's got the little jars too. These mini jars. They look, well, you can see by this person's hand. They look to be about that big. Probably says how big they are. This is really sweet. And I don't mean, and that's not a pun. It's really sweet, as is the paper that goes with it. And we'll get there. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, we're still working. Alrighty. Now, bundles have dies and bundles sometimes have punches. And although this looks pretty plain, I have seen gorgeous samples of this. And it's got a punch. Thus, the, the price point is in Canada $47.50 for all the stamps and the punch, which cuts out one, two, three, four, four pieces, which is awesome. Um, absolutely stunning. I cannot, this is, this is on my list when I get to, you know, ordering. Okay, so that was that page. If there's anybody who um, wishes to shop with me and you don't have a catalog, um, please reach out to me, message me here, and I will get a catalog to you. You need to be in Canada though. For US, if you want a catalog from the US, let me know. And I know lots of demonstrators in the US and I can, I can refer you to someone. Another beautiful suite and um, with dies, lots of dies. And this is absolutely stunning. And I was trying to figure out this card. My daughter and I were looking like this because she's now um, a plant lady. She has her own um, plant business. And figuring out where is this in here, it's not because it's die cut right from the paper. So if you're not, if you're not die cutting already, this is this, this between die cutting like this and um, embossing, you need, 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 need to get the stamp and cut and emboss. There's the full size and the mini. Not sure if I did that page. Now we're just gonna skip a whole bunch of pages, but there's like really beautiful, I just saw one. Really, really beautiful, like this one, hand penned. Ah, oh, love, thanks. Feel better? Ah, oh, love. Alrighty, so all of your colors are here. Page 122 and 123. So these are the collections, haven't, these haven't changed. Here are the in color. So these are the new in colors. Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. When you follow this chart here, it will tell you what items go with it. So for all of these, this is these are last year's. You, there's the cardstock, obviously. Uh, the stamp pad, obviously. The ink refill. And the blends. So these all have blends, which is awesome. If you see dashes like this, they don't have blends, but that's okay because other colors match. So there's no worries. You can, you can make it work. You're a card maker. Alrighty. So different things. We have new memories and more, and they look really cute. Also good for whether you're a card maker already or brand new to card making. These are fabulous because here's the, move my little tab. Wait, well, these are real good and sticky cards and envelopes and then you've got the pack here now let's see we have what a year memories and more and we have the hand penned memories which we just looked at and then you've got your coordinating envelopes so it's it's really good value really really here are the gorgeous papers and I hope I'm not rushing again I know I talk a bit like an auctioneer these are gorgeous and um, all I think all but one are brand new and we don't usually carry over uh, the DSP designer series paper but this year is different beautiful there's the um, bloom where you planted which is with the um, oh I've already forgot the name I don't know the names of everything yet this one expressions in art gorgeous 
absolutely stunning. This is on my list too. Hand pen, more. Remember this one, In Good Taste? This was a fantastic pack, huge pack of gorgeous paper. Just gorgeous with wood grain and tile and variety of um, other, they look like tiles actually. I love the wood grain. I love, well, okay, I love them all. Okay, we have animal prints. Here's the paper with the pansies. Some gorgeous paper with, looks like, yep, I have to read it. <laughs> Copper, gold, and silf, silver foiling. More paper, more paper. Oh my goodness, there's the one that goes with the peach set. Stunning. And then these guys go with, these are the in colors, and these are just, I'll just move it ever so slightly. I don't know if there's a glare or not. Very subtle prints, perfect and perfectly matching the cardstock and inks and blends. Some more goodies over here. One thing again on my list is this, which is number six, which is the in color shimmer vellum die cutting. Yes, I'm gonna refresh my screen because it is totally stuck again. ribbon and trim oh yeah now it caught up <laughs> again and i think i say this every week feel free to share comment uh, uh there's more comments see it's not keeping up oh no i'm good okay so again look for the ends lots of beautiful paper or ribbon and trim you can see some of the examples here one that i'm really happy that we're carrying over two actually is the flowers for every season ribbon combo pack we're using this um, gingham ribbon tonight and we're using the linen thread both are a must embellishments new embellishments um I definitely i'm not gonna i can't go through every single piece but there's lots and lots of these goodies and are these them number 10 yes we're using these the in color jewels these are the brand new in color jewels more goodies. Nothing changed here. You've still got your blocks. And in case you didn't know, this isn't changed. If you want all the blocks, you save 10%. Get them all. A suggestion. I never, I'm not pushy. There's, see, there's that one set I said looked really plain. It's got the punch. There it is there. Okay, so first things. Punches and punch bundles. So now we're on page 147. This is a super easy way of knowing what goes with what which is awesome. So this is new. This is actually new. I've been using it for a while because as a demonstrator, I got this back in mm, Feb, maybe? Not sure. And it talks about the bundle price here and it gives you the ordering code. Awesome. Look at these trees. This looks like it's gonna be fabulous. And this, I know some demonstrators already have this and they have been showing different ways of, of um, punching this. So if you want to find that more bundles and then you have your separate tags and again if it's new it's going to have a little end beside it and there we go these are pretty having this is very sad by the way when i was getting my bobo together and i was flipping through the catalog going okay that's retired that's retired it was sad but it's good for you my sad is you're happy let's put it that way here's the machines zap small the small and large 152 and let's do this and then we'll continue on with the dice and then we'll get to the card my goodness okay animal print bark checks and dots dotty heart i like the sound of that <laughs> so these are the skinny folders about yay big the measurements are there but you can read them macrame very hot right now macrame any under here yes Pretty flowers, I love the look of that as well. My favorite is staying. Tasteful textile 3D folder, using it tonight. Uh, thanks and hello. And wintry 3D, interesting. So although I was able to pre-order, it wasn't everything. So there's just so much fun here. Alrighty, so much fun. Here we are at the die bundles. And more and more card samples, which is good. So you do want to check pages like this as well. 
How cute is that with the baby clothing? Aww. Aww. More bundles. There's the new. And it talks about all the savings. Flip. More bundles. Now, these are dies that either they went with something from last year, so they're no longer bundled, or they go with a stamp set, but they're not bundled. So it's really, it's, I, I forgot to look here before. Love these basic borders on my, those I did order. Well, here's the thing. I would be showing you a lot more product, but my order arrives on Thursday and this is Tuesday. Sorry about that. <laughs> Another one, floor mark, flower market. And then this one, not bundled, but it says, see the dyes in use on page 57. These as well. Isn't that cute? The little mushroom and the bird. I love everything that looks like leaves. Everything. Again, new, new. The other thing is, um, maybe you already have the large one and you want the small die cutting machine. It shows you here, it says mini. If you see that green symbol, these will go through the mini. If it doesn't show it, too big. Too big. More. More and more and more. Um, I love looking through the catalog, but when you do see it online, you can actually make the screen bigger and look at the dies closer. And that's what I have to do with my saddle dies. This one here, stitched greenery. This is very appealing to me. So I'm going to have to see what that looks like. Of course, I'll show you. And then we're into the adhesives. Nothing changed with the adhesives. And then we already looked at this page, which is the host and urn. Now, some people think, oh, I can't host a party. I can't host a party right now because we're in the midst of COVID and here in Canada and, and here in Ontario, we're still in a shutdown mode. You don't have to host a party, by the way. <laughs> Not in person. Um, you have crafty friends. I have crafty friends. And what you can do is say, hey guys, you know what? I love stamping up. I'm going to put an order in. Do you guys want to order with me? You become the host and then their orders all accumulate and get you host rewards. And that's how it's done. Alrighty. Let me see if I missed anything. Dee, 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 dee. Nope. Okay. I have a really easy card. Um, I did a blog hop with my um, Positive Inkers global design team. Uh, that was May 1st. So the card's already there. So of course we have to change it a bit. Of course we do. So this is just grid paper. It's just going to protect my surface because we're going to use a bit of water. This is standard basic white. It's I could use the um, watercolor paper, but I'm not going to try it with this. And actually it turned out pretty well. Okay, so soft succulent. Love this green a lot. And then I have my water painter. Um, I think you get three in the set, I do believe. Hi, Deb. Oh, no worries. No worries. We're just getting into the card. Everything else was going through the catalog, talking about BOGO, talking about uh, the rewards, uh, extra rewards one can get, and joining my crafty community. Huh. Marcy, you love the new... Oh, yeah. There's a lot. Okay, so what I did, you can use... Don't use too small a block, by the way. Um, I'm going to start over. This is one of my acrylic blocks. I smooshed it into the ink pad, the soft succulent. I'm just going to leave it right there. I have a cloth handy, just one of the rag. You can see I've already been playing. And then with the water painter, I'm just going to drop water onto this. Do I have a little sample paper? I do not. All right, I'm going to mix in. I'm just bringing it from the edges. And, okay, when I was upstairs in my craft space, I actually had a piece of paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a technique, which is a watercolor look of background. Watercolor background. And I'm just basically going to brush on the color. And I'm hoping I have lots on here. Looks like a good color. This would actually, this piece would actually get die cut. So for now, I'm just going to do this. And you can tell I'm not being neat at all with this. I need a little more water with that. And I'm gonna start here. I see a fuzzy <laughs> or something. A little more water. 
you don't want to spend too much time and don't want to put too much water on this. Reason being is it's going to soak through the paper because it's not watercolor paper. It's, it's not going to um, handle the water that well. First things first, clean the block. <laughs> clean the block. Ready. Hey, for anyone who's already seen the catalog, curious, we've seen the catalog. You've looked through it, whether it be the online or lid or the um, paper copy. Do you have a favorite? Like, I definitely do. I showed you a couple. Okay, so you can't, it didn't go through, which is good. It's not the end of the world if it does. It just takes longer to dry. And because it takes a little bit of time to dry, <laughs> segue, here's what I was playing with earlier. Now, these look different because two reasons. One, I've run them through my favorite embossing um, folder. If you don't own this one, I would have to say, given the texture, I'll do it on this side. Given the texture of that and how it can change this into this, and of course this is die cut, so it's going to look a little bit different. It's amazing. But how easy was that? Like that took, what, 10 seconds? Super easy. Give it a try. I am using, I used, I should say, already used, oh, okay, I used my stitched rectangle dies and the second largest. So I've already run that through. These guys are dry, ran them through. Not sure which one I'm gonna use on the card yet, but that's okay. I'm kind of looking at this one because this one I made a little bit dark. So I think it's this one, the tree bundle. I know which one you mean, Sandy. I know which one you mean. It's, it's early in the catalog and I don't know the name of it either. I'm just noticing I got some green on my table. So actually, I'll, you know what, we'll do this. And remember these dies. These are the mm, pierced bloom dies. Loads of flowers. Happy that it carried forward. This is perfect for sentiments. Not for tonight's sentiment, mind you. But uh, and I haven't, I haven't found where it goes back because I just kind of threw these back on here. All these dies. Awesome. This you can still get as a. Um, you can still get the stamp set that goes with this. We. Alrighty, so what I did is, oh shock, I, I, I cut a whole bunch of goodies. This is just one of my die folders. I seem to have extra? How'd that happen? So I have in color, still remembering the names, Fresh Freesia, I have Pale Papaya, and again, and I have, well, I have white. This is the Soft Succulent. I thought I would do all this in advance because I knew I was going to talk for a long time. Long time. Uh, polished pink, evening evergreen. And I, I just, you know, I had to think of a little bit of white. Okay, we have an answer. Christina, it's the artistically inked. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't, I, I put my catalog like over on the floor, believe it or not, because my space isn't big enough. So I'm just going to place these and see if we like it this way or if we're going to change it. Got one of those. I was also deciding, oh, and by the way, I die cut these little centers and I've already glued those on. What a time saver. <laughs> I say that with tongue in cheek. Let's see. It's going to look something like the original, but a little bit different. So here's the question. Here's the original. I used the Fresh Freesia and the Polished Pink. I didn't use this color. So I was thinking I would either do it like this or with the pink, the polished pink. Tell me what you prefer and I will do that. In the meantime, while you're thinking of which colors I should put together, I'm definitely using the Fresh Freesia. That's my, that's my big, my big, um, bleh, I can talk, my big flower. That's the word. Okay, so um, this isn't your normal sized. This isn't like a specific size. So I cut this to three and a half by four and seven eighths, and it gives just the lovely, perfect border. So let's glue that on. Oh, we have an answer. Evening Evergreen. Ah, Evening Evergreen is very dark. It is. It is so rich though. 
and I know the, I know which color you mean, the handsome, handsome hunter. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. But um, it's funny. Um, I think um, what's her name? Rachel Tessman is uh, a demonstrator in the U.S. And I don't know if she did it this year. I haven't had time to look, but she has kept a piece of every color cardstock. So last year she went through and compared different colors together, which was awesome. So if she's done that, be sure to check, not right now, check her, uh, <laughs> check her um, blog. Oh, apparently we're using this one since I just glued it. Okay. And set that one aside. Okay. Oh, it looks like I get to decide. Comments are always like behind the times, so I never know. But in the meantime, I always do what I say. I love Tombow. Put the lid on. Store it sideways if you or or like this if you want it to be ready. But don't leave the lid off. Like don't don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. I'm going to put some of these on. Now, when I made my original, I did things backwards. I put everything on, then decided I wanted ribbon. This time I'm going to be smarter. Live and learn, right? Okay, we're not sure yet if we're using this or this. Okay, I might have to make this decision myself. Oh my goodness, the pressure. The pressure of it all. All right, so I'm popping some of them up. Um, ribbon. Okay, as mentioned, so here's the ribbon that I'm using. Again, the, the flower for every season. Combo packs. This comes with other ribbon as well in a combo pack, obviously. And then a little bit of the linen thread. And we're going to go right about here. This is where I like to bring in my glue dots. Because glue dots are great for holding things down. And you know I don't always go around the card, but for this one I am. It's not a very big piece. All right. Don't need that. I'm trying to push things away that I don't need. Pretty with all colors. Awesome. Okay. All right, I'm just going to cut it here. If you don't have the um, Stampin' Up! paper snips, they are awesome. Okay, They are super sharp, pointy at the end, which helps me. What about you? When I die cut, my, um, my plates are really awful. And I just take this or my take your pick tool and just go just under and it pops up the piece very gently. Okay, we love all the colors together. Yes, we do. Okay. All right. So put that one aside. And moving on. Moving on, my friends. Like I said, I don't... Sometimes I make really complicated cards, but I don't know if that serves you very well. Because I want, I want everybody to be able to to be happy making cards and to not get frustrated. Um, I think I'm a people pleaser. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, by the way. All right, off you go, off you go. Glue dots are just holding this in place. And sometimes we go and we push it right down and sometimes we use our fingernails. I'm gonna use my fingernails. Oh, well luckily that didn't stick. Yay me. One way of getting it reasonably even would be to probably do that better. Up we go. I like glue dots because you, you do have that opportunity to just, just pick it back up. Okay, this was a little fiddly part I found. And I forget if I made the bow first. No, I think I actually made the bow while it was on here. So bear with me while I make a little bow. Um, I just didn't like, I like these off the side of the card, but I don't want them flopping around. That's basically it. I probably, I think I did. I think I did. So I'm going to do one more. Nope, not that. I <laughs> almost put the wrong thing. That was a dimensional. I make mistakes. Oh, yes. My goodness, you should see my... I posted, a, what, a few weeks ago on, um, on my Lolly and Sand Facebook page of my beautiful clean desk. That's when we were... Um, showing the house, which is now sold. And I move in, did I already say this, in 24 days? So everything's like so up in the air um, and such a mess. Anyway, um, my desk doesn't look like that anymore. I started packing. Um, I started, well, one, I started doing my BOGO, getting all my BOGO stuff together. And that takes up an entire 
um, I have a, I call the dining room table, it's my craft table. And like the whole thing is covered. And then I went and brought down a bunch of my craft space because I don't, I do other things too. I do mixed media art. I do um, paper quilling. What else? Oh, and I do Stampin' Up. So yeah, I always have um, a lot of craft supplies. So totally overwhelming bringing it downstairs. And the reason, you're like, why would you bring everything downstairs, box it up? Because I'm in a raised bungalow and I want to keep it as easy as possible for the people um, helping me move. Um, I wrecked my bow. Um, I, tool, tool. I um, thought how much easier would it be to bring everything downstairs and then they don't have to continually do my, my stairs. Raised bungalows are great. Got a good bird's eye view. Oh, I just pulled the wrong end. Oopsie, my bad, let's do it again. Well, while I'm doing that, let's read the comments. Love to watch you create, thank you, Sandy. It, you know what? I, I get that sparking ideas. When I, 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 sometimes I lose my mojo and I'm like, I don't know what to make. I go to Pinterest and I say, Stampin' Up, name of the stamp set. Then I don't save them. I take a picture with my cell phone and then with a bunch of different cards that I, I really like, go into my craft room and I make a completely different card. I just needed to see someone else's creativity. That's all it was. Like I said, they don't, and they don't look the same. If it does resemble someone else's card, I will certainly give them credit, you know, for the inspiration. This one's all mine. Yay. Okay, this bow is going to have to do, otherwise I'm going to spend all night doing this. <laughs> I like these. I like, I don't know if it still comes on a roll because I've had so many of these or if it's on the piece of paper where it goes around, but I love the fact that it's not straight, which is why it kind of messed up there. I love that because I like the wonky ends. And if you know me, you know I like, I like wonky. I like things off center and so on. There we go. Well, thank you, Sonia, for your share. Hi from Montreal. Awesome. All right, so let's keep going. Let's bring in the card base. Oh, surprise. <laughs> Say that. Oh, surprise, it's white. Um, basic white. Okay, so this is cut to, uh, oh my gosh, my mind just went break. Like four and a quarter by 11, half sheet paper, scored at five and a half, and then use your bone folder and not the point of it. I never want to see pointy lines because it will happen. So just on the side and look at it laying flat. Perfect. And I'm gonna pop this up. I think I'm gonna pop it up now. Yes, let's just do things backwards. We're sticking with that, that wonky theme here, you know? These are really, I wanted to say, when I first saw the in colors, you know when you're looking at the catalog and you can't, like you're looking at a picture and you're like, hmm, not sure, but I knew I was gonna get all of them. I first, I'm going to buy the full packs now, but I first bought the, um, it's like a sample pack where I think, oh darn, one sec. Let me just get this. Uh, da, da, da. It's harder with the tabs in. I can usually do this really easily. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm getting there. Where did they put them? Oh, after this. You know, I know last year's catalog like that. Oh, I'm not seeing them. Okay, well, anyway, I don't. why don't I see that? Probably because I'm rushing. I bought a pack where you get uh, four sheets of this color, four sheets of this color, four sheets of this, four of this, and so on. I'm just not seeing it right now in the catalog. I'm sure it's there. That way, if you absolutely totally fall in love with one or more of the colors purchase those you know it's just nice to see like maybe i don't know i like them all but maybe one of them isn't quite your cup of tea i you never know and my screen's frozen again shouldn't worry too much about that um so anyway yes let's get back to the card i did use a lot of these and we have had this talk before that i don't like when things um when the card sags. We don't like saggy cards. No. Nope. Okay. Well, apparently 
My video's still working, yay. All right, and how fun picking these off. See how fast we can get these off. Do, 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 do. Thank you for your shares. If you're on Facebook, or if you're on YouTube, if you happen to not be on my YouTube channel, you can see all my videos there. And you're notified when I upload a video. And subscribing is awesome. Now, I'm going to put this over here just like the original card. I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm just setting it down really lightly. That looks reasonably straight, but not quite completely 100% happy. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe we'll just leave it like that. There we go. <laughs> These things are crazy. Everywhere. Everywhere. They are everywhere. Okay, so let's get putting this card together for crying out loud. All right, this is where glue dots come in handy as well. You know how I always have a ribbon around this, which holds it in case you happen to drop it on the floor. If you're like me, you've dropped it on the floor. Um, this is new. Yeah, I actually went through one. So I'm going to do it kind of right up here. And, and like so. So I think we decided we would use all the colors. So that would mean that this one's going to go up here and this one's going to go down here. Yeehaw. All right, let's see if I can do this. It's so thin, I wouldn't normally suggest, but I can do that on a bit of leaf itself and then just tuck it in like so. It's coming together. Wasn't sure if I'd use these because you know how I have to have white on every card. I know there's lots of white, but we'll just keep these guys handy just in case. And I have an extra one of those. I think I just have extras. Oh, nope. All right. Shall we commit? Not yet. I haven't taken the backings off yet, so I want to put in more of these. Okay. Decision made. So if you have problems finding these, by the way, just use the light. Because now I can see three of them. So I've exposed three, which probably means I'll use all three. And again, you don't have to use... You can use your take your pick tool, and you can use your fingers. They both work. Now the one thing I, I wanted to avoid was having everything go the same direction. You know what I mean? So I don't want this one to face that way and then this one to face this way necessarily. So we'll change that up just a little bit. Oh, I need a little leaf down here. All right. So this time we'll try this. And normally when we do this, nope, push. We wouldn't put our, our um, dimensional on the back yet. I don't like that piece. Okay, I'm just going to cut a teeny bit and it's it's it was my fault because I went and put the dimensional on the back. It's cutting a wee tiny bit off. It was too <laughs> uh oh I broke it. Looked like it was too close, maybe it wasn't. <clears throat> All right. Okay, commitment. Here we go. Off, off. I I find these everywhere. Everywhere. I love them. It just steps up the card. It takes your it takes your card that's already pretty, because our cards are all pretty. You made them, it's pretty. That's the way it works. Um, but it, it just brings it up even more. So I'm gonna I'm actually gonna glue dot this. Come on. Press harder. There you go. And get one in there. And in there. My goodness, I'm almost 45 minutes. Wow. And you notice I'm not putting glue dots behind here because if you watched me before, you know I like movement on my cards. Movement means things that aren't stuck down. All right. Oh, I can see a glue dot there. So there's a couple things I can do. One is er, turn that one and press it down. There's a solution for every problem, okay? There really is. That's looking not bad. I don't really like that space in there, but... I can. You know what I was thinking? Okay, I know, I just changed thoughts again. I was thinking I could just put a couple of these little doodads on. Not really sure. I was playing with them earlier. I could slide one of these. Now, I don't really like that, you know? It's kind of like, what is that under there? I don't mind it there. What do you think? And let's get the inside of the card here, too, while we're doing this. Okay. 
So this would be, and again, didn't write it down. So if that's four and a quarter, this is four and an eighth, and that's five and a half. So this is five and three eighths. And I thought, I thought I had an extra inside or an extra um, center here, but I don't appear to. That's not, that's kind of cute. All right, that's what we're going to do. Put a little, no, put it here. Put just a little bit. You notice how I don't use a ton of glue? I think it just makes the card soggy. Just a little bit right here. And I have these extra leaves, so why not, right? And I'm going to use the um, color. Soft succulent, got it. <laughs> oh, I amuse myself. Honest to Pete. Okay, this time I am going to put glue dots on these. Oh, what am I doing with my glue dots? We don't want to see glue dots. We don't want to see dimensionals and we don't want to see glue dots. That's the way it is. So, by now you're saying, what kind of card is this anyway? It could be anything you want it to be. I do have... I'm going to put this in. I do have the sentiment ready to go. And there we go. All right, so here we go. Gluing again. Your cards will not fall apart. Your cards will not fall apart if you use just a little bit of glue. Use enough that you get your wiggle room. You need your wiggle room. There we go. Because we all need to wiggle things into place once in a while. So far, so good, my friends. Now we're in the home stretch. I have taken basic black. I have used this stamp set, Best Year, which I love. And we're using it because it made it into the new catalog. Can't wait till next week when you get to see me use, like, new items. But... This one, it's a, it's a birthday card, surprise. This is good because you have Christmas, you have Dad, Father's Day, thank you, always important. Hello, hey, you've got it all. You've got it. All right, back we go. Um, I was going to use my, I don't think I can. I was gonna use my cutter, but I don't think I can. And you know how I always do two? I did three this time and I wrecked the third one completely. Um, yeah, I still make oopsies. I don't know, can I hold that? I don't know. I don't, didn't make the piece of paper big enough, so we're just going to fussy cut by hand. Sorry about the big noise. I'm going to try this one first. I'm cutting off the 2U, by the way. I know, sad. And I'm just going to cut that as well. All right. Am I the straightest cutter in the world? Absolutely not. And I don't, again, I don't know why. I may have to go back to the eye doctor. I do not know why my eyes are continuing to be blurry. There's a cataract in the way of my one eye, but it shouldn't be affecting both, although I'm not an eye doctor, so. So I don't know, but my eye's blurry. Um, notice I'm moving the paper. Hold your hand still, move the paper. And then you can wiggle wangle through all of this. You can do whatever you want. I just like to get, oops, I did not mean to cut that. <laughs> I just like to get in nice and close. All right, back we go. Sometimes I go way too wide like that, and we just do it again. If it turns out to be a weird pointy thing like I just got there, just cut it again. It's no biggie. I used to, this used to really get me. Oh, I'm not doing it right. You know what? You are doing it right. And that is pointy on the end. So I can go back and very carefully. This is one of the reasons why I do more than one at a time. And that's cut crooked. So we'll cut that straighter. Ta-da, my friends. How easy was that? I know. It just takes me longer because, you know, I fuss about it. Okay. Yes, I'm popping it up. It's going to go right here-ish, here, here. Okay, so I'm not putting a dimensional there. That's why we do that. You're so quiet tonight. I'm like, this is why I keep thinking because my video is not moving. I keep thinking, oh, oh, 
I lost you, but I know you're there. I know you're there. Okay, so just two of these. There we go. And yes, one of these. We're going to hold this down with a glue dot. Go right over top of the sentiment or the flower. And I have to hold it up. Not happy yet. As soon as I'm happy, I will commit. There, right there. I wanted it to be right along this line. Okay, there they are. What do you think? Lengthy, lengthy. <laughs> Looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Now that my screen has refreshed itself a little bit. Oh, we're not done. Oh my goodness. Look what I forgot. The in colored gems. Oh my goodness, they're here. And I used, in this one, I used the um, Fresh Freesia and I used the Polished Pink. This one, hmm, I can even use the Soft Succulent. Why not? I don't think I've used any of those. So this, this is the sheet. I've taken it out of the wrapper, obviously. You get two sizes. I think I'm going to go with this. I'm feeling subtle. <laughs> How odd. I'm feeling subtle. Where are you going to go? Right about there and there. You can use, not overkill, use as many as you like, but not overkill. Just keep them in odd numbers. It's more visually appealing, which is why there's three flowers. One, two, three. Okay, the leaves didn't. One, two, three, four. Oops, but that's okay. I think I'm going to stop there. I think this one has a few too many. It's just me. Okay, my friends, guess what? Whoa, what do I have to tell you? Um, thank you for watching, of course. I will put the important links, especially the, um, the link that will take you to this blog post um, with this card. And it's a blog hop, which makes it extra fun with uh, people from uh, the US and Netherlands, England, Australia. And what else? Oh, sign up for my newsletter. Um, follow my page. Whatever you need to do so you don't miss my BOGO if you're in Canada. Yay. You have got a huge treat coming on Friday. Thursday. Got my days mixed up. There we go, my friends. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you. I think I said that already. Share, subscribe, whatever. Thank you for your kind comments. That is wonderful. And I will see you next Tuesday and we'll have extra more, more goodies, more goodies to play with. Yay. All right. Bye for now.